Standing here at the front door of Addison Court, you'll notice your first initial view is towards the back of the house. You've got beautiful wood floors throughout all the main living areas. Looks to me like an engineered wood, real solid, looks to be in excellent shape. Everything within the home, for that matter, looks to be in really excellent shape. Um, home's 2009, so it's, you know, six years old basically now. Um, immediately here to the left, this is going to be your formal dining room. Notice the archways, also the tiered ceiling there, nice trim work. They have different types of blinds here. They have just the uh, horizontal blinds. They do have some plantation shutters on some windows as well. Nice lighting that pass through to the right goes to the kitchen and also a hallway to the um, garage. Here on my right is the formal living area. Good size. I actually wrote down the dimensions for this and the dining room, so I'll email those over to you. Um, up top here you have the recessed lighting plus the uh, crown molding. And really all the lighting. I like all the lighting packaged thoroughly throughout the house. Wide entryway. Here to the right is the half bath. Or if you're from up north, they'll call it a powder room. Pedestal sink. Same nice flooring. And it's a pocket door, so good use of space. Now coming in, you'll see just this beautiful fireplace. The stone goes all the way up. Again, notice the upgraded light fixtures. You have crown molding all around the top. Lights up top there, or excuse me, the windows. Here in the back you've got the plantation blinds with a nice view towards the back lake. Um, as far as road noise, I, I couldn't tell a thing uh, within the property here. Uh, the kitchen is just a fantastic well laid out kitchen. Love the recessed lighting up at top. These pendant lights, beautiful big area here with the uh, kind of center island. Upgraded cabinetry with the nice tile backsplash. Multi-elevational cabinetry. Here on the left you've got the built-in microwave with the stove and the refrigerator. Pantry is not really large. I think it's just kind of a standard size and probably airs a little bit on the small side. It's not real deep. You can see from right here. Get a little different angle towards the great room from here. The breakfast nook, if you will, is good sized here. Again, the floors are really in excellent shape. I'll give you a quick view of the um, back screened lanai. So here again to the right you're looking towards the State Road 13. You've got the ceiling fan up above. Screened in area with the pavers. And then also to the side another good view of the area. And then you can see the church there in the distance. And the lake would be a good area to play around a little bit. I'm assuming there's some little fish. Here you get a good view towards the front door. It's really a beautiful entryway. Um, you actually get a real nice view of the the railing. Look at the decorative railing and it's actually got the, the wood flooring all the way up which is really nice. Now let's go over to the master. That's our last stop here for the first um, floor. So turning to the right, I'm going into the master area. I will um, stop by the garage on the way out of this. Um, again, notice the ceiling, the plantation blinds. The carpet um, is in the bedrooms. The same here, actually downstairs and upstairs. It all looks to be in excellent shape. The air conditioning units are original from 2009.
plenty of life left there, obviously. You've got a his and hers closet set up here. Real nice size and again high ceilings. there and then really a nice feeling when you walk into this bathroom it is a well laid out luxurious looking bathroom large tiles here to the right it looks like you've got some travertine steps that go up into your garden soaking tub here the columns right here are pretty striking as well And then this shower area. Notice the archways. As you step into this shower, you've got a nice bench seating and plenty of wide open space here. Coming around, you've got a good view of the dual vanities. Nice three centimeter granite. Cabinetry is a really classic look. I think a, a couple of the last homes have had the um, oak style. Again, crown molding even here in the bathroom. Take a look at the countertop space. Lots of lots of space there. And then the last stop here is the little water closet. Separate door here. Now let's make a quick stop into the garage. There's actually a nice bit of storage space as you come in through the three-car garage. The cul-de-sac location is really nice. Here again, beautiful lighting up above. To the right, good spot for the kids to throw their jackets and some of their shoes. And there's a little storage bench right there. Coming into the garage. You actually have another little storage area right here. There's a little step down so you have a tile stair um, that's about four inches and then you step into the landing platform and then here you come into the, the garage. It's tiered a little bit so you see the third garage is not quite as deep as here. But again, nice, some built-in shelving over there for extra space. Very well organized. That's it for first floor. We'll go upstairs now.